Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Welcome to class. Welcome to class. Are you ready? Are we ready to start? Yes or no? Are we ready? Yes. Yes. Are we all ready to start? Good evening, teacher. I'm very happy to see you. I'm very happy to see you. I'm very happy to have you here in my class. Um. Well, are we ready? Yes, I'm happy. Ready to practice your English now? Or are you ready to participate? Huh? <laughs> participation, participation. Where are my students? Is everybody ready? Can we start now? Iniciamos ya. Nos damos con todo. Una hora de lleno. Listos todos. Ya están yes, comidos. Con todos los powers. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> let's go ahead and share right now my screen. I need oh everybody's participation now. Um, first off, we're gonna go with the presentation here based on this conversation. Are you from sold? Vamos a estar practicando uh, just no questions and WH questions, que es algo que ya habíamos estudiado en las clases anteriores. Okay, so esto tiene que ser ya facilito para ustedes. Let's check this video now. Hi everyone, in this class you'll listen to a conversation titled, Are You From Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. This conversation will become very useful for our future lessons. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll listen to a conversation titled, Are You From Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. Are you from California? Okay, in this conversation, can you please go ahead and identify, can you identify one just no question within this conversation? Hello? Can you identify a just no question in this conversation, please? Just no question with the bird to be. Hello? Students? Yeah. Students? Hello, students? Are you there or no? Are you sleepy? No. No. Eh, ¿Será que? No, no. Um, cuando decimos eh, con las respuestas cortas, donde dice no, we're not from self, we're from the John. Oh, that is an answer. Okay, that is the answer. Mm -hmm. What I'm asking you for is to identify one just no question with the bird to be within this conversation. Yes, yes. Uh, 
Are eh, you from? Creo que era. Yes, yes, repeat. Are you from? Era una pregunta. Con are you from? Sí o no. Correcto. La, are you from California, Jessica? That is a yes, no question. Are you from California, Jessica? A ver, ¿quién me encuentra otra? No, we're eh, not from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? Correcto. No, are you no, from Seoul? Are you from Seoul? ¿Es usted de Seúl? Esa es una pregunta de sí o no. A ver, hay una más. ¿Quién la identifica? So, is your first language Korean? Correct. Is your first language Korean? ¿Es tu primer idioma el coreano? Right? Very nice job. Thank you, guys. Thank you, girls. Let's continue. Let's go ahead and continue practicing the yes, no questions. Uh, also, we're going to practice negative statements. Negative statements and yes, no questions. Please pay attention to the following video. she's not yes he is hi everyone in this class you'll learn how to form negative statements and yes and no questions would be let's start by looking at the examples on the screen all the statements that you see are negative statements I'm not from New York you're not late she's not from Russia he's not from Italy it's not English we're not from Japan, you're not early, they're not in Mexico. In order to form negative statements would be you need to follow this next formula. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. So let's try to make sense of this. I am not from New York. The example above, when express spoken, we will typically use contractions. So that's why we say I'm not from New York rather than I am not from New York. We make the contraction. Let me give another example. You are not late. Now let me talk about making questions would be. This is the structure to follow. Verb to be plus subject plus complement. We're going to take the examples from this chart. So are you from California? And then put a question mark at the end. Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are we late? Are they in Canada? If you notice the examples above, you can see that we have the verb to be, then the subject, and finally some kind of complement. In order to answer this type of questions, you will typically give a short answer, such as the examples that you see on the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Now it's your turn to practice. Give as many examples as possible, forming questions and answers, and then share them in our discussion forums. All right. So we're going to practice we make the this part. Questions would be. We're going to practice negative statements. We're going to practice negative statements Late. now. Here. Okay, perfect. As you see, 
We have negative statements. Subject, verb to be, negation word. Y ahora, el negation word, please, 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 not. Repeat, not. 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 No me vayan a decir not, no me vayan a decir Nick. Tiene que ser not. 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 Y no. el complemento, ¿verdad? Entonces sí. vamos a hacer ejemplos ahorita, vamos a usar, yo les voy a decir el subject que vamos a usar, ustedes preparan ejemplos, lo verifican y si ya lo tienen verificado, you raise your virtual hand, levantas tu mano virtual, right, y vas a practicar tu pronunciación y tu gramática. Ready? Vale, lo vamos a hacer con el subject I. I, ok, con el subject I. Los que están listos, pues, levanten ya su mano. Los que puedan preparar los ejemplos, vayan a prepararlos. Una vez listos, raise your virtual hands up. Ok, Miguel, go ahead. Eh, ¿Cuántos ejemplos? ¿Es uno o dos? Only one, only one. Uh, I, I am not uh, only child. Ok, ok. Excellent. Thank you, Miguel. Good job. Carlos, go ahead. Ok. I am not from Costa Rica. Correct. I am not. Cuidado ahí con la palabra de negación. Pulamos esa posición. Not. I am not from Costa Rica. Not. 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 I okay. am not. I am not. Mm -hmm. Next, let me see Gloria. Go ahead, Gloria. I am not happy. Correct. I am not happy today. Uh oh. <laughs> Go ahead, Emily. <laughs> I am not from Korea. Correct. I am not from Korea. Let me see. Next is Edith. Go ahead. I am not from Honduras. I am not from Honduras. That's right. Let me see. Vamos a ver Alison. No, Alison, no. Let me see. Jacqueline, perdón. I am not from Chile. Okay, okay. I am not from Chile. Excellent, excellent. No more? I have Alison out. See, Alison Juarez, go ahead. I am not from Panama. Correct. I am not from Panama. Los demás, participation? What is your negative? Bueno, cambiamos a y vamos a usar they. El subject va a ser they. A ver, a ver, a ver, tenemos a Jacqueline, go ahead. That's the word, teacher. Okay, put your hands down, Jacqueline, put your hand down. <laughs> eh, Alison. They are not sad. I'm sorry? They are not sad. They are not. Uh -huh. They are not, not sad. sad. Ajá, esa palabra de negación. La pronunciación es súper importante. Not. Not. A ver, Edith. Go ahead, Edith. Lorena. They are not in Brazil. They are not in Brazil. Ok. They are not in Brazil. I like it. Bueno, vámonos a la asistencia. Preparen los demás sus examples y volvemos luego del attendance. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, Alcida Patricia Rivera Mejia, is she in the house?
Alison, Michelle, Guerrero, Mar Guerrero Hernández. Okay. Alison, Stephanie, Juarez Tobar. Present. Ana Georgina Aguilar Flores. Present. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernández. Brandon Scott Manzano Reyes. Carlos David López Amaya. I am teacher. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto Flores Bonilla. Present. Thank you. Carlos José Guerra Castro. César Augusto Pérez Guzmán. Cristian Giovanni Peñate Campos. Daniela Guadalupe Bolaños López. Diana Guadalupe Bolaños López. Es Diana Guadalupe Bolaños López. Are you there? No. Nope. Diana Cristabel Meléndez Rivera. Present. All right. Thank you. Diego Alejandro Álvarez López. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Edith Lorena Hernández Vázquez. Presente, teacher. Herrera, por favor. Oh, my God. No, mis. <laughs> No, no se ría, mis... Billy, no se ría. No sé qué voy a hacer. Yo, oh, my God. ¿Qué será, mis? Edith Lorena Herrera. Es Herrera, Herrera. Vázquez. Sí, Shame gracias. on me. Emily. Gracias. Alejo Méndez. Present teacher. Esmeralda Abigail Martínez Martínez. Gloria Abigail Ramírez Alvarado. Present. Hilary Raquel Mancilla Leiva. I am here. Jacqueline Stephanie Garcia de Escobar. Present, teacher. Jaime Antonio Martinez Chavez. Present, teacher. Jessica Cristina Garcia Castillo. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Present. Josué Abel Luna Villalta. Present, teacher. Juana Margarita Sea Martínez. Yulisa Margarita Contreras Alvarado. Carla Vanessa Bernal de García. Present. Katia Stephanie Martínez Cárdenas. Katia Stephanie Martínez Cárdenas, ¿no? Y Miguel Ángel Martínez Aquino. Meléndez, Paul. Excuse me. Ah. ¿Ya te cambié a ti también? Sí, también ya, ya me adoptaron los martes. Goodness. No, pero... <risa> Miguel oh, Ángel Meléndez Aquino. ¿Ah? Para yes. servirle coaching a los oh, compañeros. Oh, my goodness. <risa> my bad. Shame on me. Ok, no, thank you, guys. <risa> thank you. Ok, let's continue. Entonces, ¿qué me deben? Me deben examples, ¿verdad? Let me see, let me see. Estábamos con subject. ¿Qué subject? Day. ¿Correct? Yes. yes. Ah, permítanme, permítanme, que quiero ver esas hands raised. Quiero ver esas hands raised. Ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Perfecto. Ok, let me see the hands raised. Let me see the hands raised. Más que chats, quisiera speaking, guys. Más que chats, quisiera que lo habláramos. Oh. Con sus audios. Gloria, go ahead. Okay. They are not a team. They are not a team. They are not a team. A team? Team. I don't understand. Team. team. Oh, a team. Yes. Eh, un equipo. Yes. Ok, eh, la M vas a cerrar tus labios, ok? Team. 
Okay, team. They are. Y pronunciame la negation word. ¿Cómo se dice la negation word? Not. Ajá. Y a la hora, pues a veces nos escucha un poquito mal, ¿verdad? Tiene que ser not. Not. Nativo. Um, they are not. I am not. You are not. He is not. She is not. It is not. You are not. We are not. They are not. So, clarito, clarito. Emily, go ahead. Okay, not ready. Miguel, Miguel Ángel, go ahead. They are not uh, Bolivians. They are not Bolivians. That's right. They are not Bolivians. Thank you. Alison, go ahead. They, they are not nice to me. Ooh, they are not nice to you. Okay, they are not nice to you. Thank you. Let's go with Andrea. They are not a classmate. Eh, bueno, ahí como sería plural, vamos a, vamos a dejar a un lado el artículo A. Quitémosle el artículo A. Y a classmate, y, y la palabra classmate la vamos a poner en plural. ¿Cómo hacemos para pasarlo a plural? Solo agregamos la letra S, ¿verdad? Excelente. No, sería no, classmates. classmates. They are not classmates. Pero Repeat. siempre lleva They are not classmates. Correct. No, apóstrofe no lleva. No. Okay. They are not classmates. Okay, yes. Carla, go ahead. Okay, Gloria, go ahead. Oh, ya lo hice. Lo siento, voy a bajar la mano. Vaya, entonces hagamos ahora el subject she. She. Negative statement with the verb to be. Negative statement with the verb to be. Come on, come on, come on, come on. She. If you have it ready, raise your hand. Okay, Miguel, go ahead. She is not a Miss Universe. She is not a Miss Universe. That's right. She's not a Miss Universe. I'm Thank ready. You. Go ahead, Gloria. Is that you? She's not beautiful. Ooh. She's not beautiful. Okay, she's yes. not beautiful. Andrea Flores. She's not my best friend. Okay, she's not your best friend. I understand that. Edith, go ahead. She's not from Russia. 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 Repeat, Russia. Russia. Yes, she's not from Russia. She's not from Russia. She's not from. She's not from Russia. Thank you. Um, ¿Quién más? Ahí está todo. Oh, my God. Y los demás, bueno, cambiemos de subject. El subject va a ser. We. We. Yo estoy incluido. Usted y yo estamos incluidos. We. Todos nosotros. For example, we are not brothers or sisters. We are not from Colombia. Okay, Miguel, go ahead. We are not en engineers. We are not engineers. Excellent. We are not engineers. We are students. Gloria, go ahead. We are not Cindy. Sing, singers. Yes, yes. Singers. We are not singers. Singers. Definitely, definitely. Let me go with uh, Jacqueline. Go ahead, Jacqueline. No, Jacqueline is not up. Let me see. Anna Georgina, go ahead. We're not we're not teachers. Correct. We're not teachers. Emily, go ahead. We are not angry. We are not angry. Excelente. Cambiamos el subject. El subject ahora va a ser it. ¿Para qué ocupo it? ¿Para una persona? No. ¿Para, para un animal? Cosa. ¿Para una cosa? ¿Para un lugar? ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok. For example, it is not. Or it isn't. If you have an example, raise your hand. You have an example, raise your hand. 
Vayas en todas las manitas arriba. Excelente. Gloria, go ahead with your example. It is not. Hola. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, it is not. It is not working. ¿Será? It is not working. Estamos hablando de qué? De una cosa, de una máquina, de un reloj, eh, qué sé yo, ¿verdad? Algo que no es una persona. Let me see, Carla, you have an example using it is not. Podemos, acuérdense que pueden decir it is not o podemos decir it isn't. Digamos, it isn't. It isn't. Y eso es bueno para los que les cuesta pronunciar un poquito el not, ¿verdad? Decimos mejor isn't. She isn't. He isn't. It isn't. Watch your French. Please, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and make examples with it. ¿Quién más tiene ejemplos con it? Let me see. Um, Emily, go ahead. It, it is not beautiful. It is not beautiful. Maybe, quizás estamos hablando de un paisaje que no es tanto como lo esperábamos, ¿verdad? Miguel, go ahead. It isn't mine. It isn't mine. No es mío. It isn't mine. It is not mine. Wonderful job. Alison, what is? It isn't computer. Ahí sí, como es solo una, pongámosle el artículo. ¿Cuál sería el artículo? Uh -huh. It isn't a computer. Excelente. Congratulations. It, it isn't is. a my car. Mm, vaya, o usamos artículo o usamos posesivo. O me usa el A o me usa my, pero no los dos. It is in my purse. Can you repeat? It is in my purse. Tiene que ser en negativa. It is not. It is not my purse. Mm -hmm. No es mía. It is not my purse. Ok. Eh, Ana, Georgina. It is in cake. It is in a cake. It is in my case. Podría ser. No. Yes, definitely. Uh -huh. Carla, go ahead. Ya la dije. Carla Bernal. Sí, ya la dije. Ah, va, perfecto. Ya puedes bajar entonces tu manito. Bueno, chicos, vámonos questions. a las preguntas. Let's go to the questions. Are? En las questions vamos a usar el verbo to be end? al principio. I know. Are we like Ben, verbo to be. Aquí va en segundo lugar porque era negativo. Incluso en la positiva va en segundo lugar. Pero en pregunta vamos en primer lugar. Si es para you, are you. Si es para I, am I. Si es para he, she, it, el, el, el subject va a ser, I'm sorry, el verbo va a ser is. Is he, is she, is it. Entonces hagamos preguntas ahorita, is that. Vamos a hacerlas con I. I. Por ejemplo, am I your teacher? Guys, am I your teacher? ¿Qué me responderían? Am I your teacher? Yes, you are. Yes, I do. Yes, you yes, are. Ah, no, yes, aquí no aplica are. el do porque no estamos usando do. Estamos usando el verbo to be. Mm -hmm. A ver, am I your brother? Yes, you are. No. No, no. No, no, no you are. No. You are not. You are no. not. You are you not. Are not. Hey guys, am I am I from Mexico? No, no, no are not. You are. You are not. Yes. No, you are. The Mexicanos, pues. All right. Vaya, ahora hagamos preguntas con. Vamos a hacer preguntas con he para él. ¿Cómo serían preguntas para para él? Es el qué. Hagamos su contexto. Raise your virtual hand. Raise your virtual hand. I have Anna Georgina. Go ahead. Is he a teacher? Excelente. Is he a teacher? Buena entonación. Buen uso de artículo. Is he a teacher? Congratulations. Is he a beautiful? Thank you. Miguel, go ahead. Levante su manita, Miss. Miguel, go ahead. Is he from Nigeria? Nigeria? Nigeria. 
oh my God, que lejos se fue. Um, mm. Is he from Nigeria? Excellent, Mr. Melendez. Go ahead, Mr. Lera. Is he a beautiful? He? Um, is he a beautiful? Podríamos agregarle, is he a beautiful person? Para darle un poquito más de sentido. Porque <laughs> okay. beautiful, vea que beautiful se usa más que todo con las chicas. Okay, is he <laughs> Entonces, para él, ¿qué adjetivo puedo usar, guys? ¿Quién sabe? Handsome. Excelente, handsome. Ah, is entonces he... cambiamos la mis, ¿cómo le quedaría con handsome? Is he handsome person? Ah, vaya, si le agrega person, entonces tenemos que poner el artículo. Porque person es un, es un sustantivo. Ajá, correcto. Yeah, is he a, a person? No, no tiene mucha lógica porque okay. sí, sí, él es una persona. A menos que digamos, is he a good person? Is he a good person? Ok. German no podría ser, teacher. German? Is he German? Sí, sí claro, es una nacionalidad. Is he Salvadorian? Is he Bolivian? Is he Cuban? Is he um, Mexican? Is he Costa Rican? Etc. Is Vaya, he a... Diga, diga. Is he a lifeguard? Lifeguard, bien. Is he a lifeguard? A ver, Edith, what do you have? No, no, no. Ya estuve, ya pasé. Gracias. Vaya, okay. Alison, go ahead. Y... He is from El Salvador. Is he? Is he from El Salvador? Excelente. Okay. Let me see. Emily. Is he a doctor? Is he a doctor? Excellent. Excellent, guys. Good job. Cambiamos de subject. Cambiamos de subject. Vamos a hablar de it. Estamos hablando de un animal, de una cosa, de un lugar. Preguntas, questions, hands up, hands up, hands up. Ana, go ahead. Is it a car? Is it a car? Excellent, Ana. Next example, please. Come on, guys. Hands up. No quieren levantar la mano. No quieren levantar la mano. Come on. Okay, Miguel, let's go. Participation. Es que yo no le encuentro, es que otra vez se me ha escondido la mano. No, no escondan Dios? la mano, sáquenla, sáquenla. No, la mano, es mire. que no encuentro, no encuentro <ríe> dónde, dónde levantarla, espérenme. Vaya chicos, los que están trabajando de celular, ¿quién me apoya? La compañera, hagamos un comercial ahí. Es que otra vez... Bueno, nadie se apunta en a ayudarle. Los tres, Compañera. En los tres puntitos que aparecen, ahí le da eh, reaccionar y le da levantar. Ah, reacción. Ah, ya me ya. Ok, ok, thank you. Okay. <ríe> Excelente. Perfecto. Uh -huh. Trabajo en equipo, ¿verdad? Entonces me van a dar preguntas con it, ¿verdad? Yo quiero preguntas con it. Miguel, go ahead. Is it yours? Is it beautiful? Yo te estaba hablando de un lugar nuevo y tú me preguntaste, is it beautiful? Excelente, la respuesta sería, yes, it is. Gloria, go ahead. Okay, it is an apple? No, because it's not an affirmation, it's a question. Si es una pregunta, Gloria, ¿cuál es la posición del verbo to be? Is it mm -hmm. an apple? Se ve la diferencia si tú dices, it is an apple, estás afirmando. It is not an apple, estás negando. Yes. Pregunta, yes. is it? Yes. Is it? ¿Verdad? Yes. Is it a banana? Is it a mango? Is it an orange? Etc. Okay. Let's go with Gloria. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya yeah. lo Okay, put your hands down, Gloria. Let's go with Carla. Uh, is it a cell phone? Is it, unámoslo, is it, is it, is it a cell phone? Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it a cell phone? Excellent. Sí. 
Excellent. Is it a cell phone? Is it a tablet? Is it a television? Is it a desk? Ya estamos, ¿verdad, Lorena y Carla? No. No, no démosle. Is it a mirror? Mirror, ok. Ok, gracias. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Edith, go ahead. Is it a mirror? Is it a meter? Is it a house? Is it a car? Is it a cell phone? Thank you for your participation, guys. Let's continue. Let's continue. Next slide. Next slide. Me ayudan con ese audio, please. Thank you. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn a few rules on how to stress syllables. And we will learn how these rules are essential in order to convey our meaning. There are two very simple rules about word stress. Number one, one word has only one stress. One word cannot have two stresses. If you hear two stresses, you heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words, but a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress and is only used in long words. Number two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. In this class, we will focus on stressing numbers, and in future classes, we will dig into more advanced uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stress syllables. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. If you hear all the numbers starting at 13, we will stress the second syllable and similar numbers such as 30, you'll, have, you'll stress the first syllable. This is the reason why whenever you hear a number, you may not be clear on whether the person is talking about 15 or 50. Now is your turn to practice pronunciation. I would like for you to practice repeating these numbers and their pronunciation and record yourself on Boca Okay, Rude. guys, you're going to repeat, that, deactivate the microphone, everyone. and you're going to repeat, please, these pronunciations, repeat in your house, in your house. Pongamosle ahí mute, and everybody repeating. Let's go. In this class, you'll learn a few rules on how to stress syllables, and we will learn how these rules are essential in order to convey our meaning. There are two very simple rules about word stress. Number one, one word has only one stress. One word cannot have two stresses. If you hear two stresses, you heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words, but a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress and is only used in long words. Number two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. In this class, we will focus on stressing numbers, and in future classes, we will dig into more advanced uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stress syllables. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. If you hear all the numbers starting at 13, we will stress the second syllable and similar numbers such as 30, you'll, have, you'll stress the first syllable. This is the reason why whenever you hear a number, you may not be clear on whether the person is talking about 15 or 50. Now is your turn to practice pronunciation. I would like for you to practice repeating these numbers and their pronunciation 
and record yourself on bookroo.com. After that, you need to share the link of the recording in our discussion forums. This is a little bit about numbers. We're going to be talking about ages. Vamos a estar hablando de las edades también. So let's go over this information. We're going to talk about ages y los números del 11 until 103. Let's listen and repeat. Todo repitiendo en casa, guys. These are numbers. Numbers. Let's do it. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the numbers from 11 to 103. And talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends. Let's start by listening to a quick conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. Now let's practice expressing the numbers. Listen and repeat. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 102, 103. Now is your turn to practice and record yourself on the website, bookaroo.com. After you record yourself, you will need to share the link on our discussion forums. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the numbers. And one more time. One last time, guys. One last time. And talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends. Let's start by listening to a quick conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. Now let's practice expressing the numbers. Listen and repeat. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 102, 103. 
Now is your turn to practice and record yourself on the website. Mokuru. Okay, guys. So After now you record yourself, we're you going to talk about ages. Okay. To ask about your age, we're going to say how old are you? How old are you? Repeat. How old how, 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 are, are you? How old 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 are you? Vamos a responder, guys. La edad en inglés siempre se da con el verbo to be. Jamás vayan a decir I have, que have significa tener, ¿verdad? Yo tengo, como en español decimos, yo tengo tantos años, yo tengo, te adueñas de ellos en inglés. No, en inglés estás en esa edad. Y vamos a usar siempre el verbo to be. Vamos a decir I am, vamos a decir el número de años y vamos a decir years, con ese years, porque ya es más de un par, ¿verdad? Years old. En mi caso... I am 37 years old. I am 30, 37 years old. How old are you guys? How old are you guys? Raise your virtual hand now. Go ahead. Lorena, go ahead. I, I am 40 years old. 40? Years old. Así dijo, 40. Sí. Ok. 40 years old. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Edith. Okay. Repeat, Edith. I am 40 years old. I'm 40 years old. I am. I am. O si no contractado. I'm. I'm. 40 years old. Miguelito, go ahead, Mr. Melendez. How old are you, Mr. Melendez? Okay. I 51 years old. 51 years old. 51 years old. Excellent. Excellent. Good age. You have a lot of experience already, right, Miguel? You are an experienced man. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Anna, how old are you, Anna? Georgina. Gloria, what about you? Okay. I am 38 years old. Excellent, Gloria. Allison, how old are you, Allison? I am 19 years old. 19 years old. Excellent. You're very young. Emily, what about you? I am 22 years old. Very young, Emily. Good job. I understand clearly. I understand clearly. Let me go with. ¿Y los chicos dónde están? Solo Miguel está participando de los chicos. I am teacher. Oh my God, guys, represent the voice. Cierto que perdimos en Cajut, pero, o sea, hay que levantar esos ánimos. No estuve yo por eso, Ticho. <laughs> Dale, tenés tu este ejemplo ahí. Go ahead. Well, how old are you? Uh, uh, I am 29 years old. 29 years old. Excellent. What about you, Cesar Perez? How old are you, sir? I am 36 years old. You are 36, entendí. I am 36. I am 36 years old. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. How about you, Jaime? How old are you, Jaime? Ya lo dije, teacher, pero lo repito. I am 30, 39. 39 years old. Excellent. You're 39 years old. Okay. Jacqueline, what about you, Jacqueline Garcia? 
I am 30 years old. 30. 30. Yes. 30, ¿verdad? 30. Ok, sí. thank you. Yes. Carla, what about you, Bernal? Activate your microphone, Carlita. I am 28 years old. Oh, that's a good age. That's a good age. 28 years old. You're young. You're young still. Right? Empiezan a vivir, ¿verdad? Empiezan a vivir. Right? Right, Miguel? Right, Miguelito? That's correct. <laughs> All right. Eh, yes. ¿quién más? Hillary. What about Hillary? How old are you, Hillary? Uh, I am 26 years old. 26 years old. Look at that. Eh, Alison ya me lo dijo, ¿verdad, Miss Stephanie? No. Oh, go ahead, Miss Juarez. How old are you? I am 19 years old. 19 years old. You're such a baby. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Very young people. Ok, de tarea para mañana me van a dar cinco edades. Uh, por lo menos cuatro edades de cuatro familiares o amigos y culminan diciendo su edad. Necesito que practiquen esos números bien pronunciados. 20, 25, 30, 35, uh, 40, 45, 50, 55. No se acuerden de decir, I mean, no se olviden de decir years old, que representa años de edad. ¿Ok? ¿Tienen ahorita alguna pregunta de lo que hemos visto o de la tarea? Sí, este, con nombre y todo. Sí, me, me puedes decir, uh, por ejemplo, ok, um, this is my homework. Hi, my name is um, Miguel and this is my homework. Uh, my father is 71 years old. Then my mother, her name is uh, Isabel. She is 66 years old. My sister, uh, her name is Clara. Um, she is 41 years old. And me, my name is Kalev, and I am 40 years old. Okay, that's it. Okay, thank you. My pleasure, my pleasure. Let's go with the attendance. Alcida Patricia Rivera Mejia, are you in the house? Missing in action, huh? Alison Michelle Guerrero Hernandez. Present. Alison Stephanie Juarez Tovar. Present. Ana Georgina Aguilar de Flores. Present, teacher, se me trabó, por eso no pude participar, se me trabó. Oh, mi, sí, ¿por qué no me dice? How old are you? I'm 33 years old. 33. 33. 33, right? 33. Sí. ¿Cómo decir... puedo decir el miércoles cumplo 34? ¿Cómo puedo decir? This coming Wednesday is my birthday. Next Wednesday is my birthday. Repita. Next Wednesday is my birthday. Vaya, mis, pase a traer una semita mieluda al final de la clase, por favor. Y ahí tendrá, Gracias. pues, felicidades desde ya. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernández. Present. Brandon Scott Manzano Reyes. Uy, se ausentó Brandon ahora. Vamos a ver. Carlos David López Amaya. Carlos Ernesto Flores Bonilla Present. Carlos José Guerra Castro César Augusto Pérez Guzmán Here I am sure. Thank you Cesar Cristian Giovanni Peñate Campos Here I am da Dania Guadalupe Bolaños López Diana Cristabel Meléndez Rivera Present Teacher, I have a question Yes en el video aparece sobre cuando dice 100 en 1. Uh -huh. Este, tengo una pregunta. ¿Por qué es en 1 y no solo 100 101? Eh, bueno, se puede de las dos formas. Uh -huh. Ajá, porque yo sabía por 100 nada más. Es como que me causa duda. 
Se puede decir, puedes decir puede. 101, 102, 103, pero también puedes decir 101, 102, just like that. Ah, okay. No problems, okay. es igual. Gracias. My pleasure, Diego Alejandro Álvarez López. Present. Edith Lorena Herrera Vázquez. Present, teacher. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> siento presión. <laughs> Emily Ben Alejo Méndez. Present. Esmeralda Abigail Martínez Martínez. Missing in action. Uh, Gloria Abigail Ramírez Alvarado. Here I am. Excellent. Hilary Raquel Mancia Leiva. Present. Jacqueline Stephanie Garcia de Escobar. Present, teacher. Jaime Antonio Martínez Chávez. Present, teacher. Jessica Cristina García Castillo. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Josué Abel Luna Villalta. Present teacher. Juana Margarita Sea Martínez. Present teacher. Mi Uy. participación. Hoy no Uy. ha participado, Hola. Juanita. ¿Cómo no? Sí. Sí, ah, sí pero le voy a... Este, how are you? Ah. How old are le you? Voy a... How old are you? Uh -huh. I am 47 years old. 47? 47. Ah, oh, sí, sí, está bien jovencita, me está empezando a vivir usted, no worries. Excelente. Wow. <laughs> Buena pronunciación de los años. Buena, 47. 47 okay. years. Ese years, con esa S ahí, years old. Uh, hablamos el círculo acá, old. Years old. Years old. Thank you, Juanita. Julissa Margarita Contreras Alvarado. Present. Thank you so much. Carla Vanessa Bernal de los García. Present. Katia Stephanie Martínez Cárdenas. And last but not least, Miguel Ángel Meléndez Aquino. Present, coach. Excellent. Thank you for joining my class. Thank you for your attendance. Don't forget your homework. Five H's. Carla, ¿nos querías dar unas palabras de despedida o algo así? Adelante, Carlita. No, no, no sé Inspírese. por qué tengo la mano levantada. <laughs> All right, no problem, Carla, no problem. Guys, remember, tomorrow I need five H's eh, for family members and your age as well, okay? See you tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.